My Hero Academia's ending disappointed its fans, and I'll tell you exactly why. Another massive, decade-long series has seemingly dropped the ball, and entire subreddits have collapsed in on themselves like a dying star. But I get it though. Seeing the main character eight years older and with no maidens must be tough for you since it hits so close to home. But today, we'll dig through a decade of an artist's heart and soul to figure this out. Why was it so disappointing? And how could it have been better? But that's the easy stuff, so let's go a step further. Why do so many big series like this mess up the ending? I dug through 10 years of this manga to figure this out, so get comfy. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. As we start, allow me to channel my inner hippie old lady, and let's do some visualizing, okay? Close your eyes real quick. Can you imagine building something for 10 years? Investing a decade of your life into something that's beloved by millions? Kohei Horikoshi started My Hero Academia in 2014. That's when Flappy Bird was popular. I think that was when hieroglyphics were still around too. He took his love of manga and American comics and combined them to make a legendary series that has been instrumental in defining a decade of Shonen Jump. When you pour your heart and soul into something and share it with the world, it can be tough to be true to yourself while also making something that people love and catering to your fans. Just keep that in mind here. I don't want to spread hate or encourage people to be mean to the mangaka who created a landmark series that has touched millions of people. We're able to strike a balance where we can still critique something that we like without being outright mean to it. Okay? Great. Open those peepers and let's check out the ending. In the final chapters of My Hero Academia, we can see how the world changes with Deku and Class 1A's defeat of All for One. The world is a peaceful place. The good guys won, just like in every other shonen. Deku loses his quirk in the final battle, but also still has a little bit of it, apparently, because he can use it for movement and stuff, but it's still not enough to be a full hero? Uh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Even when All Might was fighting All for One and was running out of power, he was still able to whip out a gigantic United States of Smash attack. Would Deku not even have enough power to just do basic search and rescue? I mean, he does say that it faded away and eventually went out during the time skip, but does he really just get this incredible world-saving power for a year of his life and then loses it all like a football player breaking his knee after signing a $40 million contract? Well, that's not very satisfying, is it? And that's the main issue with the ending. It wasn't satisfying. We get this super long time skip where Deku is powerless and alone for eight years just like he was in the beginning of the story, and he just has to sit at home grading papers while watching his friends live his dream on TV. Each day he comes to school and teaches class like Walter White, except his Heisenberg years, oh, I'm sorry, year, is gone forever. Imagine his old friend stopping villains and climbing the hero ranks while he has to chaperone at the school dance. He's sitting at home in his undies eating a microwave dinner while Bakugo is out blowing up people on TV. His co-workers at UA talk about the new Endeavor Netflix documentary that just came out, and he's the old boomer that sips a Bud Light and says, You know, I actually trained with him back in the day. I even went to dinner at his house eight years ago. Is that really the way this should go out? But what about the relationships? The ships? The things that high schoolers cling on to to make them feel better? That people have spent years of their life obsessing over? We never get to see Deku get with Ochako, or Todoroki with Yaoyorozu, or Jiro with Kaminari, or Bakugo with a punching bag. It's a shame, especially after a decade. You know, it kind of feels like a good ending wouldn't have been too hard. Have a nice scene where Deku and Ochako hold hands, or have a little smooch or something like that. Deku's able to stoke the flames of One For All again through training or something. Shigaraki becomes a hero, somehow, despite being literally blown to pieces. And maybe All Might gets a love interest. I love him, he's my dad. And bada bing bada boom, that's a wrap. Why couldn't all our characters get together and live happy lives? Why didn't it end the way that I, a person that doesn't make the manga and has no say in it, wanted it to. Uh, I don't know. But it seems that it wasn't in the cards. And that's okay. That's okay! We don't need everything we enjoy to have a good ending so that we can be happy. We can just love it for what it is, just like we do with the people in our lives and even ourselves. Take the good with the bad and let ourselves enjoy it, warts and all. 
Who knows, you might actually start to like those warts after a while. Okay, here's the actual reason why. I'll give it to you in one sentence. You ready? Listen up. What he wanted isn't what you wanted. I know that sounds dumb, but listen. This artist had his vision for a 10 year project. He poured thousands of hours into creating the best story he could using gallons of ink and stacks upon stacks of paper. And he successfully created a universe with his own two hands. One that has inspired dozens or hundreds of other artists and is beloved by people all around the world. And now his ambition has been fulfilled. How lucky he is to have been satisfied, to have taken a risk and found massive success. He could have been cancelled before he hit 15 chapters just like so many other mangas out there, but he pulled it off. We had a hell of a ride, and now it's time to say goodbye. So take a minute, take a deep breath, look back over the story, and on to the next thing. And let's be real, you can just read it again if you want to. Alright everyone, that's it for me for now. If you made it this far, subscribe, like, everything like that. I'll have a post on my Patreon breaking down this video and telling you why I'm recording in this car. But um, that's it for me for now, so I'll see you later. Bye bye. <laughs>